Hi, this is Artifacts Mars, and I'm going to talk about the lights uh, on series that have been so much uh, talked about lately. Uh, there's something that nobody's pointed out, and that's what I'm going to discuss. A couple of preliminary, th preliminary things, however. This might not come out right at first, but we'll see. Okay, I'll do the lights in a minute, I promise. Right there in that crater is kind of a... It's tough to see with a square-looking object. I'm not sure what it is. That's not good. Alright. Here's the problem as I see it. We look over here to the left. We'll do this again. This side is in bright light. This side is in darkness. Sorry about that, my program's doing weird stuff. I'm gonna close it out and... Okay, so the left side, uh, from our perspective, is in darkness. Well, is in light, and the right side is in darkness. The left and right don't mean anything in outer space, so... Here we have these things. Now, the problem is that these things are just about at the terminator where it starts getting dark. Which means the sun's angle is very low. From our perspective, the sun's coming in from the left. Uh, snow and ice do not repeat. They do not reflect sunlight like that. They just don't. Not when... Not when the sun's very low. The series is only 600 miles across, so... I'm not 100% certain whether the sun will be just a small disk on the horizon. But the point here is, uh, if this was snow and ice, they would not be reflecting light the way they're saying. Not that there's any, I don't see any clouds around this planet anyway. So how can they be even suggesting that these are snow and ice? So what is my point? Well, you can't, they almost certainly are not snow and ice. So there has to be something else there reflecting. The light. Or possibly giving the light off. In fact, if you take this down, take the contrast down, I'll take the brightness down, whatever those are, they stick out, way out. There isn't enough resolution to be able to tell exactly what we're seeing. One thing I can be certain of here is that these things are sticking out like proverbial sore thumb. I would say they're probably self-luminous. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, there's so much bullshit coming from these people. In fact, if you look at this photo, there's all sorts of things that look kind of odd. We'll have to wait until uh, Dawn spacecraft gets in orbit, but you can see for yourself, you know, when you take the lighting down, this area is in either twilight or it's early dawn, depending on which way this body rotates. So, 
Is this snow or ice reflecting sunlight? No, it's not. The question is, what is it? And I don't have an answer to that. Other than, it almost certainly is metallic. It has to be metallic or something that's self-luminous, perhaps. Um, well, screw it, it's artificial. I don't see how this could be a uh, phenomenon of nature, I'm sorry. I'm still going to wait for the spacecraft to get there. But, it, you know, these scientists never point out these common sense things. Screw it, people. It's artificial. Almost certainly. Because, like I said, I live in snow country, so don't argue with me about how the sun reflects things. The sun is reflected off snow and ice. It gets that low, snow and ice don't make that much difference. It certainly wouldn't light up like that when snow and ice hit it. So I'd say... I'm going to give it a 90% probability of being artificial. I mean, craft, it's a craft of some kind, probably. But of course, it will magically vanish once the Dawn probe gets into orbit. Wake up, people. You're being lied to every day. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.